Excel add-in is such a feature in Excel which allows you to do more than formulas, formatting and conditions. These add-ins will totally change your Excel file if used efficiently and effectively. In today's video, we will see such add-ins which will be totally free and really very helpful. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. Our first add-in is QR for Office. We will see how we can create a QR code. We will go in Insert. Then we will go in Add-ins. I have already added couple of add-ins over here. In case you are not able to find add-ins in Insert, just go on top. Here you will get option of More Commands. From drop-down, select All Commands and look for Add-ins. Once you see the option, click over here and it will be added to your tab. In few Excel files, you might get the option over here in the center, but in my case, it's in right hand side. So we will insert our first add-in. I'll click over here. I'll go in store and we'll search my first add-in. That is QR. I'll click on search. And over here, we get few option of QR. We will click over here, add, continue. And on the right hand side, a window got popped up. From here, we can create our QR codes. We will click on drop down. And here we get few options to create our QR code. I'll create QR code for my YouTube channel. I'll click over here and we'll copy the URL. We'll come in the right hand side and we'll paste it. So the QR code got generated. Error correction, I'll do it 30%. Size, I'll increase the size little bit more. And I'll click on insert. And my QR code got inserted. In case you want to resize it, you can. If you want to change the color of your QR code, you can select the colors from here. Color, red, and it got red. If you want to change the background color of QR code, it can be done from here. Insert, and my colorful QR code got inserted. If you want to create QR code for your phone number, you can do it. I'll delete this, and we'll insert my phone number. We'll select the color. And we'll click insert and the QR code for my phone number got inserted. Even you can create QR code for SMS, Geo or you can custom it. I'll close this. In case you want to save the picture of your QR code, right click the mouse and here you get the option of save as picture. Our second add-in is Wikipedia. We will go in insert. Add-ins. I have already added my add-ins over here. I'll select Wikipedia. Add and type your query over here, Macbook. Enter and I got all the details of Macbook. In case I want to save a paragraph from here, I'll select it, Control C and will paste to my desired place. I'll wrap the text, I'll increase the size, we'll adjust it and the text got added in my Excel file. In case I want to insert picture of Macbook, I'll click on images and we'll get option of few images. I'll click over here and we'll drag it. So the picture got inserted. I can resize it as per my requirement. I'll close this and we'll move to our next add-in, Bing Maps. These are the areas which are allocated to my training department and I want to see on the map. I'll go in Insert, Add-ins and we'll select Bing Maps. Add and I got my map inserted over here. I'll resize it and will reposition as per my requirement. I'll select the area, we'll come over here and we'll click. So the areas are visible over here now very properly. In case I want to see the areas of John, I'll select this, we'll click over here once again and areas of John are visible. Same with the case of Bronson, I'll select this, we'll click over here and areas of Bronson are visible. In case you want to change the view, it can be done from here, bird's eye. In case you want to view some areas, you can click over here on the filter, deselect all and select the desired areas, apply and the desired areas will be visible. We will move to our next add-in that is web video player. I want to train my team on how to create a fully advanced attendance sheet. And I have got the pointers like employee name, employee number, formulas and formatting. But before explaining these things, I want to show video to my team. To insert video in your Excel file, you will have to go in insert, add-ins and in your add-ins, you can look for web video player. Add 
and the video player got inserted. This is link of my video. I'll copy this and we'll paste it over here. We'll click on set video and my video got inserted. I'll play this and video is playing very properly. In case you want to reposition it, you can. In case you want to resize it, it can be done. Once the video got played, you can resize it once again and will reposition. We will come to our next add-in that is mini calendar and date picker. This is a sales data where I have to insert meeting dates, but I don't want to insert it manually. So I'll go in insert add-ins and in my store, I'll look for mini calendar. Here I got option of mini calendar and date picker. I'll click on add continue and my mini calendar got inserted. I want to insert dates. So I'll click on desired cell and we'll click on the date and my date got inserted. I'll format the date. We'll select the whole column, right click the mouse, format cells, date and I'll select a desired date format. Okay, I'll take this in center and in mid. So whatever date I want to insert, I can select from here and it will get added automatically. In case you want to highlight few days, you can select all the desired dates, can go over here, okay and all the dates got highlighted in gray. Here we get few options like toggle calendar size, calendar size got changed. Here we get option to change the calendar theme. Over here we get option to change the calendar system. Here is the option to toggle week numbers. In the beginning we can't say the week numbers. I'll click over here and the week numbers can be seen. In case you want to hide the settings, you can click over here on cross and the settings will be hidden. To view the settings again, Click over here and settings will be visible. You can change the months from here. Mini calendar and date picker is a very efficient tool to insert the dates. We will move to our next add-in that is Excel colorizer. I have got an Excel data over here and I want to colorize the whole data. So I'll select it. We'll go in insert add-ins and we'll look for Excel colorizer add and the colorizer got added. I'll select the desired colors from here and we'll click on colorize and my data got colorful. In case you want to change it, you can colorize, vertical, colorize, matrix, colorize, even you get few options over here, smooth, colorize, exponential up, colorize. Over here we get option of RGB and HSV. We can select from here, colorize. So in this way, you can colorize your whole data of Excel file. I'll close this and we'll move to our next add-in that is activity timer. This is my training schedule and I have to do my activity as per schedule. I have got total six things over here and I have to complete the schedule on time. So I'll insert a timer over here. We'll go in insert, add in and we'll look for activity timer. I'll add it. We can see your timer over here. We see the option of activity. I have got total six activities. So I'll click here six times. We'll select this. We'll copy and we'll paste on my timer. So all the activities got added to start the activity. You will have to click on plus sign and it will be highlighted. Now you have to click on start and the timer will start. You can pause from here and to restart. You can click on pause once again. Once the activity is finished, you can click on stop and the time will be recorded in the center cell. Here we get option to select the time in hours, minute or seconds. I'll click over here on plus and will start my second activity. Start. Once the second activity will be done, I'll click on stop and time will be recorded. So I'll record time for all. Once all the activities are recorded, click inside your Excel file, click on paste data and the data will be saved with time spent. You can insert borders for this if you want or if required. Now, whenever you want to start new activity, you will have to click on clear table and the table will be cleared. To start the new activity again, you'll have to click over here and activity name can be added.
Excel add-ins are very efficient tool and it will change your Excel file totally. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.